Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be my part 2 regarding latency of the Radiolink RC8X with the new receiver version 2.1. Last 6 months I have the 1.0 version so this is going to be a follow up. We set it on 3 milliseconds version 2. Let's begin. Okay, this is another example. If I have a um, like a drift RC, if I put the receiver right here, you think it, that's too large for this RC? You can you might say you need to replace the receiver to a smaller one. But remember, if you're gonna buy this unit for a beginner, you're gonna get this receiver immediately. And then if you wanna get the smaller version. You have to wait for the newer version, so it's going to be a uh, version 2 protocol, so it's going to be faster. Okay, let's dive in with this one. So, where are you going to put the wire? Like this way? Kind of like that one? So, it's technically impossible. This is a Drift RC. Normally, said you don't have to turn on the radio while uh, tweaking this radio. This is going to be your st standard bench. And your radio should be somewhere here. You need to align your anchorment and your suspension your radio i think it's not gonna be that far away distance away from the because it's harder for you to see what you're adjusting it should be this close so there's a tendency that you can get a signal block depending on the orientation of your receiver it here 
should I run my antenna this way or that way or this way or that way or should I curl it up like this way I, I really agree with Razor RC they need to come up with a smaller receiver for indoor racing yeah so you can see it's blinking so how can I calibrate this car remember we need a version 2.1 to be a responsive or more faster response times okay you can say okay I need to put it further away okay I need to it, there's no problem with this distance but okay I have to basically ask somebody to tell me if can you turn the steering to left and right before I can adjust it or whatever I think this um, radio links design best for longer range and FPV it has tons of feature better display I hope they have a um, version 2 receivers designed for a smaller scale indoor RC's both controllers are great it's depending on your application for me I think the NB4 is more designed for versatility he has two receivers there's a shorter smaller size that's designed for a smaller platform the only downside with an NB4 is basically it's the display and um, the firmware upgrade. Thank you guys for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.